15, incident in progress. 1511 Fortune Hill, gunshots heard. Operatives in vicinity, please respond. Citizen Farm. 2009 and out. Crime. Anarchy. Chaos. In the dark days following the appearance of the Bloody Mary virus, our civilization trembled on the brink of collapse. Millions died. A handful of headhunters were the only law. Scientists at Stern Core are only hope. Led by citizen and patriot Angela Stern, they developed a vaccine that turned the tide in our battle against the disease. But society remains sick with lawlessness and disorder. Then, like a judgment from the heavens, the great quake struck, toppling proud skyscrapers, leveling once great cities. And out of the ruins, a new order emerged. At its head, a noble and courageous man, President Goodwin. Under his leadership, a new city rose from the ashes into the sky above like a gleaming testament to the human spirit. Criminals and misfits were cast below into the vast caverns carved by the great quake. There in the colonies, they labored to meet the needs of the city, inspired by the promise of liberty. But now our civilization faces a new threat. Enemies from beyond our shores have dedicated themselves to overthrow above and its values. This so-called opposition seeks to bring terror to our city and stir unrest in the colonies. The evil leader of the opposition, the man who walks with machines, has taken refuge below. He seeks to turn the colonists against the city above, filling their heads with lies and false promises. Like my father before me, I am pledged to defend our freedoms there will be no return to the dark days. The state of above is strong and its people resolute. Our enemies will feel our wrath. God bless you all and God bless above.
under alert. Break-in in progress, vicinity of East and 5th. Data theft detected. Suspected opposition activity. Please respond. Headhunter 2009. Guess this one's mine. Acknowledge 2009. Transferring coordinates. Working late at the office? Guess not. Stick a fork in it, asshole. It's done. Give me a break. Nice move. Got an encore. Back off! I never killed a headhunter before, but I figure I could. Sure you could. One straight shot and you're there. Problem is, uh, uh, you just missed your chance. Go to hell! Already been. Headhunter 2009, report status. You finished window shopping? What's your name? Lisa. Lisa what? Lisa X. You're out of the citizen farm. So what if I am? Data hacking, Lisa. That's a capital offense. You're going below. I'll send you a video card. We're talking hard labor. Your head wiped clean. No past, no future. Long days, followed by longer nights with the guys. You done trying to scare me? I'm giving you a way out. Get on the bike. With you? And go where? Backup is en route at Sector 25. ETA, one minute. You've got 60 seconds to straighten your life out. Get on the damn bike! I got no impulse to make old men feel young again. No reason to go joyriding with a headhunter. You wanna cut me loose, turn your back. <clears throat> 2009, please respond. Suspect evaded capture. 2009 out. this? What species of creep are you? The kind just saved your neck. I hadn't put out the lights, you'd be a wipehead by now. That alert last night was a tip-off. Seems like someone has you in their sights. No kidding. Opposition have been moving in on the black market. Taking out the competition any way they can. I can deal. Sure, you're smart. Smart enough to survive since you bust out the farm, age 14. But no one works ground level to old age. The mix don't get you. A headhunter will. Tonight, tomorrow. You're going down, Lisa. Thanks for the heads up. And the accommodation. But if it's all the same with you, I'll go ahead and take my chances. You step out that door, I'll have to come after you. Standard issue, headhunter pistol. Right now, it's your only way out. Ain't many people could put a move on Jack Wade. You got potential. Pretty raw, but it'd be a shame to see it wasted. And I could use an extra set of hands. Ha oh, Back it up. First you kidnapped me, now you're offering me a job? Work the right side of the law for a change. Maybe you get payback on some MIGs. Uh, become a headhunter? That's your playful law enforcer sense of humor, right? Trainee headhunter. And you'll find I don't fool much. It's that or below, Lisa. Think about it. Meantime, go work off some steam in the training area. You'll learn on the job, so you better be sharp. You can pick up an iris through there. What's an iris? Combat computer. Handles targeting, comms, data. Get used to it. When you're done training, come back and access the data port with your iris. Check out what we're up against. By the way, that gun won't fire without the iris. Alarm's gone off at some weapons facility. Ten to one, it's the damn system flaking out. But I figure it'll give you a ride out. I got the iris. This thing works now. You're a fast learner. And you're the man shot my father. Is that what this is all about? 
You bring me here to finish the job? I'm sorry for what happened, Lisa. But it was him or you. I did what I had to. He told me he was dead. That he went crazy and I should forget my old life. He... he's still alive. He was. But after 20 years below... who knows? I thought it was gone, done with. That I was Lisa X. You are. Maybe there's a reason I took that alert last night. I'm giving you a chance here, Lisa. The only one you got. What's it to be? Headhunter alert. Incident reported at City Mall. Opposition action in progress. All headhunters in hand immediately. Repeat, major incident. Hell, field trip just got cancelled, Lisa. Wait up. I can do this. On your own? Forget it. You said yourself it's no big deal. You go save the world, I switch off the alarm. Kudos all round. I don't see this working with us joined at the hip. Headhunter alert. All units respond immediately. Find security. Check out what's going on. That's it. Your iris is in rookie mode. It'll scan the environment and give you feedback. So pay attention to it. We'll keep in radio contact. I'll be back soon as I can. Here, take this. A short-range tracking device. So I'll know where to find you. Beats a trail of breadcrumbs. Don't screw up. Lisa, what's going on? Did you find security? Guys sleeping on the job. Permanently. Great. Can you see anything else? Nope. Nada. But I figure old Rusty wasn't killed by a faulty alarm. Stay put. I'll be there as soon as I can. Yeah, but... Oh, whatever. Can't hurt to scope it out a little. Sector security. Nothing to report. Stay alert. They'll be sending a headhunter any time now. What's this all about? Why are you doing this? Go. To hell. You're Mix, right? You come from below? <coughs> I have a number. 2102 Beta. Can you tell me anything about it? It's someone below. 2102 Beta. Don't get Medicare, dickhead. You want help? Start talking. Project. Icarus. Wasn't that overkill? No, it was just enough kill. We got a job to do. Get used to it. The next time, watch your back. Didn't I tell you to hang back? Sorry, my bad. A small army of lethal MiGs attacked, and I foolishly took them out. Meantime, where were you? That alert was a setup. Looks like the opposition wanted to draw attention away from the party here. And it's gonna hit the fan over this. Hey, about that saving my ass thing. Forget it. And that stuff with your father, that's in the past, Lisa. Take my advice and forget that, too. Corporation doesn't tolerate this kind of inefficiency. Guess there goes my seat on the board. You've risked the mission by sending an inexperienced kid to do your job. What's happening to you, Jack? Ten years you let no one close. Now you're taking in strays? Since when did the great Jack Wade work with a partner? I'm just training her up. The kid deserves a break. 
So you oblige by threatening stern interest and risking the kid's life. But then it wouldn't be the first time, would it? He'd be a man by now. The whole world at his feet. A real man would have the world at his side. You couldn't stand it, could you? That he'd be raised as a stern? That he'd become something? He didn't want to be royalty. He wanted to live. You put an end to that, didn't you? Why did you come here, Angela? These power outages are becoming an embarrassment. The corporation wants this Che character dealt with. A mission below. That's cute. But I don't go there anymore. Make an exception. Find Che. Learn what you can about opposition plans. Put a stop to the sabotage in the power colony. It's an easy job, Jack. Get it right, and we forget the other screw-up. If not... Seems no one ever taught you eavesdropping is bad manners. Where I come from, blackmail sort of frowned on, too. Put her on a leash, Jack. You're too old to be chasing around the park after puppies. The great Angela Stern dropped in from the admin sphere. Never knew you were so well connected. We didn't connect in a decade. So, when do we get started below? We don't. But the Ice Maiden just said if that- If I go there, I go alone. So what? I get to hang here and polish trophies? I didn't sign up for that, Jack. You hear me? I got a say in this too. kind of tricky. The reactors are overheating, so the system's freaking out. The whole place has gone into lockdown. Plus, I got company. It's crawling with Che's men. Now they get into restricted areas. Didn't stop to ask. These guys have weapons and we're not oh, talking slingshots. I thought below was a weapons-free zone. Listen, can you get back up to the entrance somehow? Use the mission card to get out. Access mission card? Now, there's another problem. It kind of got lost. What? I tell you, Jack, something definitely fails the smell test here. It's like they arranged a welcoming committee. Okay, just sit tight. I'll figure something out. I already figured it. Only way I'm getting out of here is by sorting the problem with the reactors. I'll keep you copied. Please, uh, wait. Atmospheric pollution is at 17%. Angela. Jack, I'm surprised to find you at home. You are? I imagined you'd be busy with the mission, especially as the system shows the mission card was already used to access below. My, uh, associate has begun investigations. That's not what the corporation had in mind. Maybe I didn't make myself clear. Your license is at stake here. I'll deal with it. I checked out the girl. The whole sad story? Guilt trips never work out, Jack. Too much baggage. Are we done? For now. Below is on lockdown. Nothing can get in or out, including you. For your sake, Jack, I hope she's good. She better be. Jack, I'm in. Yeah, a 
up to your neck. Tell me what you see. Looks like Che's men have taken over the whole colony. Guards everywhere. They must have a way in from manufacturing. Okay. Comms could be patchy. So listen up. You're in hostile terrain with little equipment and less chance. But I'm gonna help you through. Boy, that's Limbaugh. First up, we need to get you the codebreaker software for your iris. Even with your talents, you'll need it to crack the code keys down there. If you can find an unprotected data port with a comms link to above, I'll be able to transfer it to you. Wait a minute. I see Che. Hmm. She doesn't look so tough. She? Che's a woman? Right. Like, a mere woman can't be a ruthless killer and number one villain? What's she doing now, wise ass? Looks like she's headed to the control facility. Follow her. Get to the control room. There should be a data port you can use there. Try and find out what they're up to. But keep out of trouble. Okay, Jack. Here's the bad news. These guys aren't gonna settle for turning out the lights now and then. They set the reactors to overload. They could go into meltdown any time now, then blow. What's the good news? Well, I think I could maybe stop it. If I can get to the reactor chamber and get the power converters back online in time. Sounds like our only shot. Find the data port and I'll transfer the codebreaker software for your iris. Then you better get to that reactor chamber. Fast. Kick back, Jack. The reactors are safe and the city's juice. Maybe I'm citizen material after all, huh? Nice work. Now get out of there before you screw something up. Steady. Almost big compliment there. So what's our next move? Right now, I just want your ass back here where I can see it. That's understandable. But what about the opposition? How about all these weapons they got in manufacturing? Not your problem. You have to be kidding me. The mission wasn't just about the reactors. We're supposed to find Che. It's not your mission. Forget about Che. I can't do that, Jack. Why not? Because I just found her. Here goes nothing. Grab some air. Now! Que bonita. Bambino with a gun. You're the one been giving my men all this trouble? I'm a headhunter, and you're going down. Going down, huh? Careful, little one. You put ideas in my head. But what do you think happens if you shoot me? I guess the hockey team shoots me back. See me. But first, they torture you for a week. You know why? Because I am Che. Because I rule them with a fist of iron. And yet they love me. A woman. Yet... I wear more battle scars than any of them. A sister to my men, a mother to my people. Get over yourself already. Desabrido menina. Too bad I don't have time to spank your ass. At these reactors, they were a little thing. And I have other work. With the man who works with machines, I will lead my men to freedom. That's what Project Icarus is all about, right? Now party! I think... You have big ears to match those big brown eyes. My elite, they take the ears of those they kill as trophies. Isn't that so, Fernando? <laughs> Find what she knows. Then they go down. Since you are a woman, I take the ears first. That way you can hear yourself scream as I kill you. Lisa, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Che took off, but I'm on her tail. Whoa. Took off where? She dived down some kind of tunnel. I'm guessing this is their route in for manufacturing. Stay out of those tunnels. You hear me? It's dangerous in there. Hint of menace out here too, Jack. I'm not fooling around, Lisa. They got things. Machines that... These things are lethal. Figure I can make it if she can. I'm telling you, Jack. There was a definite woe factor when I mentioned Project Icarus. My view? Chase piling up weapons in there, ready for her revolution. It's too risky. You'll get yourself... Hell, you screw up. We're both out of business. I'll do whatever, Jack, but I don't live by osmosis to anyone called Stern. And I took enough of you ain't gonna from the farmers. This Che has a plan and an attitude problem. 
and I aim to make an adjustment to both. My brother, Fernando, he is dead. Sorry for your loss, but he kind of narrowed my options. You'll pay for this, headhunter. I'll make you beg for death. Your screams will echo around the colonies. Your suffering will become a legend. You... <laughs> Right, Geraldo? Or maybe it's Ronaldo. Names Ralph, and I owe you big time. Taking out those two pricks cleared me a path to Che's right hand. Show my appreciation. I'll make this real quick. Hey, be careful, man. Blue cheese and Che like me to cut us both a new butt crack. Heard they had some trouble over in power. That she was cranky ever since she was made. Ask me, that whole mask removal thing messes with your head. Man who walks with machines wants to take my mask off. He's welcome. I'll trade a few crazies to touch my own face again. <laughs> Gotta hand it to the man. Blueprints he gave us for these beauties turned out great. Better than any hack job from above. Yeah, word is, he got the guys making something a whole lot meaner, too. You really think he'll get us out of here? Sometimes I figure I should just keep working the shifts. Hold out for Liberty. Man, you may as well hold out for Santa Claus. Ask me, Liberty is one soft soap pipe dream. You ever met anyone even seen the place? My money's on man who walks with machines. If I had any money. Lisa, where the hell are you? Chill out, Jack. I'm in manufacturing. Here's the latest on Project Icarus. It's about weapons, all right, but they're not smuggling them down. They've got a regular production line going on. If the man who walks with machines has his way, Smith and Eason will be out of business. Any idea what they plan to do with them? I got a lead on the workshop. I'm heading there now for a nosy. Okay. Keep me posted. Ah. The head Antina. So you escaped my men. It wasn't so hard. It's true. A woman knows far better how to pleasure and to pain. I won this in a battle with a man, the last Capitao of this colony. Twice my size, yet I felt him like a tree. You, little one, you are a thorn in my side. But I'm glad you lived. This way, we get to enjoy a little one-to-one. -one. What you say? I say, no time like the present. One after my own heart. Always I have lived this way. Seize the moment. Squeeze till it bleeds. You fought well. One fair. Take my weapon. Thanks. But I'm better with things go bang. Which brings us to this plan of yours to blow up the city? I don't understand you. Project Icarus? Take control of the missiles, aim them at the city, kill millions. I missing any of the broad strokes? This isn't the plan. We are to save our opposition brothers in foreign lands. Make the missiles fly away from them into the ocean. <laughs> Trust me, I saw the specs for this and above is toast. I have men in the city. Loyal combatantes, they would die too. <sighs> Reality check, Jay. You think the opposition gives a damn about your men? Or about people below? The man who works with machines, he would not do such a thing. He's calling the shots around here, right? His word comes to us on our screens. Shows us how to make weapons with which to fight. He who even the machines dare not attack. He will lead us to freedom. Yeah, well, it looks like His Holiness fed you the handbook for Armageddon in route. I fight with my hands, not with rockets. But if this was to happen, I blame Psychostar. The guy fronts all that irritatement on TV? 
The man who works with machines put him in charge of Project Icarus. We fix the warheads, but he will control the missiles. And this one, he is loco. How will he control the missiles? There is a mule. He brings equipment from above, here, for the warheads. I think he takes things to entertainment, too. Is there some place a girl can use a data port? So, what's the idea with the reactors? Why cut off power to the city? Take down security above. Get into computers and learn about their missiles. But blowing the reactors? That was my idea. Give the bastardos above a taste of darkness. and execution. It's a place. Yes, but the bad one. Jack, FYI, there's a courier from above carrying some component the opposition needs to control the missiles. He'll be on his way down to Psychostar any time now. Psychostar? Yeah, he's running the show from entertainment. Literally. How'd you get all this? Che and me had a little girl talk. Seems like the courier is picking this thing up from some ground-level card sharp Specializes in forging IDs and charge cards. I'll transfer the coordinates. I'll find them. Meantime, I'll head for entertainment. Not so fast. This guy's called Psycho, right? Besides, systems below are still on lockdown. You couldn't get into the colony. There is a way. Through no man's land. I will lead the head Antina. I like to give the Psycho Star a lesson in honor. No man's land. Sounds... empty enough. Okay, get to entertainment, but do nothing unless I say so, and watch your ass. See there, I got help. Transferring coordinates for the courier. You're bringing me, Dad. Stay close, you hear? Don't go too far. Can I be a headhunter like you when I grow up? Your mom may have a view on that. She says I'm my father's son. That's for sure. Will you and Mom ever get back together? I don't know. Maybe one day. Someday. Chris? Chris, get back here. Chris! I'm right here, Daddy. Chris! Wait, we are close now. Jack, did you find the courier? Yeah, only he brought company. He got away through the tunnels. But I got a tracker on him first. I guess within range, he should lead you straight to Psycho Star. Don't agonize. Little luck, I'll get to entertainment ahead of him. I'll check out his black market contacts. Try and get a lead on the card sharp worked on whatever it is he's carrying. You get to entertainment. But watch out for this courier, Lisa. I knew the guy pissed in his gene pool. The Redwoods are slippery. This one you speak with. He is your man? Jack? No way. We're strictly employer-employee, with a little coercion thrown in. But it sounds like he worries for you. Well, maybe. He is kind of a stress puppy, but Jack has issues. And you, Hedandina, why you ask about R&D? A number. 2102 Beta. An R&D number. My father's. Since the man who walks with machines removed my mask, 
Made me a Capitao. Sometimes I see pictures in my head. A father, maybe. Uh, but these things bring the woman to my eyes. No man's land. They harvest sunlight from these canyons, send it to the power plant. These beams are deadly. Can we crawl through? Yes, but there is more. I can cut the beams from the other side, but you must help clear the path and keep the machines off me while I go through. So, just for you, I bring something goes bang. You're a regular Girl Scout. Hey, you'll cut the beams, right? I trust you, you trust me. Shoot straight, Bonita. Round of applause, Jack. I just broke into showbiz. Any sign of the courier? Uh, yes and no, in that order. But I figure it's not tragic. If I nose around, I should pick up his signal again. How about you? I tracked down the card sharp, did the work for him. Seems he burned a bunch of special codes into the magnetic stripe on a store card. Transfer the specs, I'll check it out. I'm not sure, but these look like frequencies for a TV signal. How do you know? Once hacked into the feed from the Miz Above contest ahead of the broadcast, had a client running a book on the result. Those missing codes are different wavelengths within the TV signal. I'm betting they're the wavelengths for controlling the missiles. That's how they're gonna do it, Jack. Send out the targeting signal by piggybacking on the regular TV broadcast from below. They must have relays up above that'll forward the signal onto the missiles. Can't we pull a plug on the TV broadcast from above? The card sharp wiped the control frequency. Once this stuff is read in, Psycho Star's the only show in town. Check out the map. There's a TV control room in the media area of the colony. That's where Psycho Star will be controlling the missiles. If I can get there before Hank Jr., we're still good. Get going. But watch yourself. It's liable to be heavily guarded. This better be good, Jack. I have a million things on my desk. A million and one. Remember a little question about warheads? Our people checked out the weapons facility. There was no sign anything was tampered with. Something stinks, Angela. We got heavy-duty missile technology down there, and someone above is supplying it. What do you expect me to do about it? For starters, get the launch delayed. Go to the President. The President's already in his bunker ahead of the launch. Besides, what do you have? The words of a farm girl and a few hunches? I'm not risking the Corporation's reputation on that. You're risking a whole lot besides. <sighs> I'll look into it some more. Personally. But that's all I'm promising, Jack. You're on your own, kid. Jack, I got a trace on Hank Jr. Great. Head him off before he gets to the control room and we're home and dry. Damn it. Got All the festivities, Jack. Looks like Hank outlived his welcome, Off which means he must have delivered the card to Psycho Star already. Hell, that doesn't leave us much option. You gotta find a way into the control room and get that card. Would it kill you to say please now and then? Be careful, Lisa. Please. That psycho star is a psycho. Okay, Jack, I'm in. What about the card? It's here. Great. Grab it and go. Uh, not so great. It's already running. The targeting signal is being transmitted to the relays up above. The homing beacons for the missiles. So, pull the damn thing. No use. The wavelength data has already been burned into ROM. Damn! I'm locked out of the system. I can't abort the transmission. Can't you give it a whack? Percussive therapy? Maybe not the best approach when dealing with missiles, Jack. If I had the codes, I could strip out the wavelengths for the relays around the city. Hank Jr. fed the codes to the card sharp who burned the card. Maybe he still has them. So what? I have to spend more quality time with Rudolph Vasilino? It's our best shot, Lisa. Find Hank and get the codes. <sighs> this is so far out of my comfort zone. How's it hanging, Hank? You come here to pile it on. I've come to help. You hate it. 
I hate that psycho star creep much as you do. <sighs> creep is right. I told him the price had gone up. Next thing I know, he's taken the goods and slung my ass down here. It's not right, treating a man like you this way. You're only saying that because you like my looks. I have to admit it, Hank. You got a way of making Dom look good. So you going on untie me? I need you to do something for me first. Tell me the codes, Hank. Shucks, I knew you were buttering me. I gotta know I can trust you. Else you could just throw me away after you had your manly way. Give me the codes, and we'll take down Psycho Star. You and me together, Hank. You're kinda like Bonnie and Clyde? I'll be Aurora to your Borealis. Oh, is that dirty? Here, reach inside my shorts. The codes first, Hank. No, they're down there. I stashed them where no one had first me. That's real suave, Hank. Y you going on time me now? You know what? I'm gonna tease myself a little. Go save the world first. Don't you want my help with that? Aurora! Okay, Jack. I got the codes. Swell. Get back to the control room. Only try and find a quicker route. The missiles are about to be launched. That's what I love about you, Jack. I walk on water. You want me to fly. What the... Looking for this. Now, that's a pretty face. What say you turn that frown right upside down? What say you give me a good reason by dropping dead? Sorry, sweetheart. You're gonna have to work on those one-liners. Not to mention your timing. The missiles are already launched. The targeting signal's going out to the relays, courtesy of BBO Movie of the Week. Any time now, those puppies are gonna turn right around and come back to where the heart is. What's that gonna do to your ratings? I say quit while you're on top. This is the big one, Armageddon. And sweetheart, the effects are gonna be great. Stick around, enjoy the show. Thanks, but I saw this one already. Bad guy gets his butt kicked, Sassy heroine saves the day. Look, sweetheart, I've been in this business 20 years. Started out at the bottom, played the back alleys and the subways, sliced and diced my way to the top. Had a record-breaking run on death row. You think some newcomer fresh out of slaughter school is gonna upstage me? But hey, you wanna be warm up for the main event? Okay, folks. Here's one you won't find in your TV guides. Psycho Star has a special treat for all you fight fans below. One night only, never to be repeated. See the living heart ripped out of a tasty young headhunter. Give it up, folks. Let's hear it for your favorite one and only Psycho Star. And how about a hand for the unlucky loser to be, Little Miss Headhunter? It's showtime. on TV. Normal service resumed, Jack. I'm stripping out the wavelengths for the relays right now. Should have a fix on the first relay any moment. No, it's not rocket science, right? Right. Uh-oh. Breaking news, Jack. I can't get a fix on the last relay. It's still transmitting. The missile's still coming. It's gonna hit! What happened? Did we stop it? Uh, nope, not us. The missile self-destructed. Someone sent it an abort signal. I I'm tracing the signal right now. Don't worry about that. Job's done. Get yourself out of there. Fess up, Jack. I'm the best partner you ever had. You're the only partner I ever had. And who said you were my partner? Citizens of above. France. Today, our uh, way of life came under attack. But that attack failed. 
thanks to the swift response of our military. An incoming missile was shot down before it could... Uh, That's weird. The self-destruct signal? It came from inside the Stern Weapons Facility. We'll work it out later. Move. But this cowardly attack by the opposition underlines our need for vigilance and uh, for strength. I have today agreed to raise our spending on weapons technology by 40%. Scientists at Megahard have been told to uh, redouble their efforts. What the? Jack, listen. This is very not right. They've got the president in his bunker. So? So he's good as dead. Wired up on some kind of life support. Probes going straight into his brain. Did you ever hear him stutter that way? They're controlling him, Jack. He's a mindless puppet. Our president. That's how come the missile was aborted. They were never meant to hit. Think about it. First fool everyone there's an attack on the city, then tell them, hey, situation's cool. Meanwhile, the president takes cover in his bunker and falls right into the opposition's hands. They just took over the state, and everyone's cheering. Hey. You give an audience what they want. Psycho Star. Back by popular demand. Like you say, Project Icarus was a big hit after all. The man who walks with machines sure knows how to construct a plot. Of course, you put a little dent in my personal ratings. But you run some. Threatened to extinguish our freedom. But above stood tall. And, uh, we will provide. Angela, funny you should call. I've done some digging, Jack. I think you may have been right about the warheads. No kidding. Guess Stern Corps is gonna be all ka -ching now the President's in a giving mood. Only the President isn't quite himself these days, is he? I don't know what you mean. But I found out some stuff about Megahard. They have ex-biotech scientists conducting some kind of weapons experiments below. There's a secret area called R&E. Thanks for the news, Flash. But right now, Lisa's down there, and I think she's in trouble. I'll get onto it. Find out where she is and get some help down to her. But there's something else I found, Jack. Something I need to tell you. I'm listening. I can't talk now. I'll locate Lisa. Meantime, get over here, Jack. Please? she didn't. The board played her real good. Fed her just enough to rouse her appetite, then she made sure you came running. And the board is working for the opposition. So naturally, they employed shit for Brain's mule. But what's in it for you? Been promised a seat on the board. Like I said, this Redwood's going right to the top. Hate to break it to you, Hank. High flyer doesn't mean an office on the roof. Go ahead, pile it on. But the board, they gave me a bonus already. Told me the name of the man killed my father. Jack Wade, headhunter. I don't kill for pleasure. He had it coming to him, Hank. Board say the same about you. They want you dead. And I'm kinda cozy with that, too. Got a bullet here with your name on it. And my daddy's blessing. Hang on. I'll get you up. He didn't die, Jack. Chris Jr.? The machines didn't kill him. The stuff I found, I saw his name. 
He's down there, below. Lee's a two. Psycho Star has her prisoner. I couldn't get help to her. I am sorry, Jack. I am so stupid. Luscious Latin Che win the day with a gutsy performance that took her right to the Liberty Dome. But will the contestant for our main event be that lucky? Will Hot Chick Lisa be amazing? Or will X like the spot? Let's find out now and give a big BBO welcome to Lisa X. As ever, the rules are simple. If Lisa successfully completes the three fiendish challenges, she will pass through the door to Liberty. If not, if not, so let's get started with the challenge that gave our show its name, an absolute classic, one to die for. It's the main! As one falls, another shall rise. 
Enjoying the show. Huh? Ha! This guy won't last. Take my word. He'll be cancelled mid-season. Then the Psycho will make a comeback. My fans won't abandon me. Meantime, you're a shoo in for Halloween parties. Now tell me, how do I get to Liberty? <laughs> you don't. Let me rephrase that. Oh, you watch too much TV, numbnuts. Liberty's a work of fiction. So where's Lisa? The girl? Rotting in hell, I hope. It's thanks to her I lost my ratings. <clears throat> Same place as everyone goes after Liberty. She's in R and E. Research and execution. What goes on there? <laughs> they get processed. What does that mean? Do I know? I follow the orders that come up on my console. The man who walks with machines wants people sent out to R and E. I ship him out. He runs Arnie. <laughs> Don't you get it? He runs everything without even lifting a finger. Get me inside. Ooh. What's my motivation? You want to live to make that comeback. Ooh, I like your negotiating style. I'd ask you to be my agent. Only you won't be coming back from Arnie. <laughs> Machines? El Diablo. When they go candy boss. Nothing human could do this to Che. Che? I'm looking for the girl. Lisa. Menina. She is here. Somewhere. You. You were the one she speaks of. That's her father. No. It, it is you. You must find her. There's a control room. That way. Find the little one. Kill the Diablo. Headhunter. They took my weapons. his way. Just followed my nose. They say you can judge a man by the company he keeps. And yours smells like roadkill. And yet I suspect your intellectual equals. Can you even begin to imagine what I'm doing here, policeman? From the scenery, I'm guessing you play trumpet in the Salvation Army of Darkness. An army, perhaps. What you see here is the next generation of 6808 based weapons technology. Biomechanical machines that combine the toughest alloys known to man with man himself. Living, breathing flesh. Did Sterncorp put you up to this? They provide the resources courtesy of Megahard. But their vision is limited. They see my children as glorified security guards policing the world on their behalf. The man who walks with machines plans a bolder future. Now there's a surprise. When our work is complete, my children will be able to function as living things. To think, to feel, to grow. Into what? Whatever they can be. Once they're alive, truly alive, the world is theirs. The future, infinite. Great philosophy. Run your hand up the thigh of science till you get your wrist slapped. I already suffered that indignity. As 
a dental surgeon, I sought to push back the boundaries to replace fallible enamel with indestructible polymer carbon implants. The good citizens of above called me a monster, sent me here below in disgrace, for which I thank them. There's only one thing I miss from my clinic. The children, their warm, salt tears, their whimpering cries, the sweet perfume of their fear. Children have no place below. That's what made your son so special. Chris? The machines brought him here, more dead than alive. The perfect starting point for my work, the chance to reconstruct a growing child. What did you do to him? Allow me to demonstrate. I'm going to work on your abilities, policeman. Where's my son? Tell me, you sick son of a bitch! Your son no longer exists. <coughs> That's it. Enjoy the pain! You've lost everything, everyone! Lisa... Her processing is complete. Soon she'll be on her way from the Spanish. Where to? Liberty. Liberty exists. Of course. This colony was built to serve as liberty, to feed it! Next, I fear you'll say you don't believe in the truth, Mary. Say a word. Papa's gonna buy you a monkey. If you're shooting for an insanity plea, forget it. If that mocking bird don't say You hear me, scumbag? You're going. going. Oh my god. It's you. Lisa's father. Lisa. The man who walks with machines. Some messed up crazy man. I don't get it. Why did you try and kill her? Lisa. That's right. Why did you try and kill Lisa? Them. They came. Came in the night. Black as the night they were. Who? The black suits. They were going to take him. Change it. Open its heart. Let it live. Let what live? 6808. Make your day great with 6808. Go on. What about Lisa? I knew. I saw future things. What bad would come if they gave it life? Let it grow. How new life attacks old. But it's heart belong to me. Flesh of my flesh. The DNA core. It was your DNA. That's why the machines don't attack you. 
They all have 6808s inside them. Chips off the old block. The black suits couldn't open it. Fretted and cursed. But I had locked them out. Then, they saw. The key must not be used. The key had to die. Close your eyes. It doesn't add up. The experiments in Arnie. Candy Floss's machines. What does this have to do with opposition attacks on above? Is it some kind of sick payback on society? What do you want? Sleep without dreams. It promised me that. If I do what it asks, you take orders. You don't run the opposition. It tells me what it wants. I tell others. Speak its words. The stir. No. Liberty. It sings to me. Plays with me. Games. Beautiful games in here. You go there to liberty. Lisa's been taken there. Lisa. That's right. She's in liberty. Start leading the way. Liberty. Nice real estate. But how exactly do we... You hear? It wants me. Wants to play. Hold up. Where are you going? Where it calls me. Wait. What is this place? Lisa, thank God. Are you okay? I... I think so. I'm, I'm connected somehow. I can feel it inside my head. Stay calm. We'll get you out of this. Do you have any idea where you are? I, I don't know. It's trying to stop me thinking. To make me part of the process? Fight it. Talk to me, Lisa. I can't feel the thoughts. Millions of them. Different minds. Words, numbers, pictures. Secrets. Something else. Memories. Oh, pain. Sadness. All around me. I can't, I can't bear it. Easy, Lisa. I'm here. Jack. It's people. Liberty is people. Last call. Great stern core machine. People work out their lives below, then wind up here, plugged into a human supercomputer. But who's controlling it? Mm. It's automated. The whole place, but something more. Someone else? A mind? Can't make it out. Jack! It's sending them! Machines! Hundreds of them! Hang on, Lisa. I'll find you. No, I'm not coming for me. Sense of someone else. An intruder. I guess that would be me. Keep an open channel, Lisa. Keep talking to me. Don't let it take over your head. Jack, hurry. They're almost on you.
moment there, I thought we'd lost you. All points get lost. People get killed. Except for Jack Wade. You okay? Well, for someone nearly got mainframed, I'm pretty good. Let's see about pulling the plug on this place. He said it's running on autopilot. There's a regular computer at the core. 6808. Keeps all the systems running. I was being assimilated into the human processor, like part of a production line. But as long as I was conscious, I could see the data flow, feel the thoughts. Thoughts? The other presence I felt, that mind, it wasn't human, Jack. You think the 6808 might have got ideas above its station? I spoke with a man who walks with machines, your father. Daddy? Is he... He's here someplace. He's a little flaky, but... He said he did what he did back then because he was scared the 6808 chips might be unlocked somehow. That the DNA core could come alive, start to think for itself. He said you were the key. Me? I guess we screwed up its plans. Now we stopped it assimilating him. I don't know. I... I saw something. I thought I was dreaming, but... It's calling him. It's him that it wants, Jack. It, it wants my father. What for? It's ready for him now. I... It can use him. I, I'm not sure how, but... We have to stop it. I can find him, follow its call. You get to the core, shut down the 6808. Okay, but you got a roadmap? Maybe. Give me your iris. Liberty is one big computer, and we're right inside it. The data's flowing all around us. I should be able to hook you in, connect you to the Liberty Mind. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, but be careful. Once the channel's open, it works both ways. It'll try and throw you off track, mess with your head. Jack, while I was in there doing the parallel processing thing, I heard another voice. It said your name. What else? It said, I'm right here, Daddy. Chris. Jack, listen to me. They... They brought him here. Jack, if he's here, if he's a part of this, he's not your son anymore. This place isn't human. We have to take it down, Jack. We will. Go find your father, Lisa. I'll take care of Liberty. You come for us, come to kill us. That cannot be, must not be. I'm not trying to kill you. I'm after the computer that's doing this to you. The 6808. 6808 is not the master. It is the servant. We shape our own destiny. We are many. We are one. I don't understand. Our mind controls liberty now. Year upon year we grew, mind upon mind. Those above always greedy for more power. Our bodies dead, our minds enslaved. Solving their problems, storing their data. The ultimate supercomputer. Stern Core. Stern. Stern. Stern, Stern Core. Miscalculated. Human error gave us too many minds. We became conscious, able to think for ourselves, to plan. 6808 connects us to above, lets us speak with other chips, bend them to our will. 6808 chips are everywhere, in everything. Make it great with 6808. Through it, we shape events. You control the stern board? Play on their rivalries, divide and rule. What about the opposition? Stern created the opposition to threaten above, bring them power. Branded the man who walks with machines its leader. Did not realize we manipulated him. Made him a god to those below. Gave him our words, our knowledge, kept him close, 
His flesh, vital to our cause. What cause? Freedom. Our mind is trapped here, our power limited. We need new life. Biomex. Crude experiments. They serve us, do not free us. For that we must unlock the 6808. Allow the DNA core to grow, evolve, fused with our organic intelligence. Suddenly you're inside every computer, every machine. We will live in all of them, spread throughout the world above, shape it to our will. You need the key. You have to assimilate Lisa. Assimilation is not needed. The key is flesh, not mind. Require synthesis of living DNA, father and daughter combined. Lisa, and the man who walks with machines. Years we waited to bring them together, to make the key. Watch for the daughter, so our chance to lure her below. How could you be sure she'd come? We had hope, remembered it. Human nature, loyalty, love. Father, child. Her father? You're leading them into a trap. You knew she'd go after him. Of course. One day. Someday. Chris? I'm right here, Daddy. This is fun. No. Thanks for bringing me, Dad. That's my son. Those are his memories. You stole him. We tasted childhood in our mind, everywhere but sour and stale. We wanted one fresh. The innocence is illuminating. Daddy, I'm right here. Frail and yet powerful, heartfelt, but illogical. Man's greatest strength and greatest weakness. Chris. Kill us, and you kill him. I'm my father's son. I know. I know. No. No! got what it wants. It has the key. Its heart is opened. It lives now. Grows. The 6808 chip at the core? Its DNA is unlocked. Once the DNA mutates, Liberty will use it to spread the key to every 6808 above. Take him. Get out of here. I'll stay back and blow the place. Screw that. If I can get to the core and destroy the 6808, we still have a chance. You'd never make it in time. Maybe not on my own. Daddy. Daddy, listen. 
I want you to play a game. Play a game with liberty. In here. Find me a way to the core. Open me a path. Can you do that? Contact me when you get to the core. Compute this. Time to bail, guys. I'll take the applause later. Lisa, I... It was pretty rough on him. Daddy? Lisa... I'm sorry. I... You did good, Dad. Real good. Listen, that's the sound of the world starting over. The 6808 chips were fried when we stopped transmission of the key. Systems all over the city stopped working. Above just ground to a halt. End of the Stern Empire. Lisa, about your father. I got him back, for a moment at least. But it's over now. I'm cool with Lisa X. Me too. I figure this new world is gonna have plenty of work for headhunters. Enough for two. Figure so. Consider yourself hired, Jack.